to hurt anybody, but she can go get help and get a job. She can support herself, right? So that, that worst case scenario, a student spends a year with me, two years, which has happened, and says it's not for me, I'm gonna go back to my, my home high school. Great, they didn't waste the time in college, they didn't spend the money, and didn't waste the money. Figure it out now. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm only familiar with the, one other program like this in the nation, uh, that's in New Orleans, um, and that's backed by the whole um, So that's something I really know about, about this statute. Anyhow. Daniel, I thought last year you said you're going to be moving to a build the building right across here, our downstairs, our second kitchen. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 across the way, uh, and that's that's the Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Okay. That's good. So we have two two full facilities, two kitchens that we have. So that one student, a group of students, might be in kitchen, and the other group of students might be in lecture. Next day, we switch. Almost cover with olive oil. 
oil in the oven uh, 300 degrees for about an hour. Every 20 minutes or so, taking over a spatula or a spoon, uh, mixing it up to incorporate the heat as well. So poached in olive oil, no water. Uh, almost the color, right? So I'm, I'm cheap, I'm cheap. So I put it into a pot that is short or narrow and wide. So I use less oil, okay? Uh, so the tuna in there, put in the oil that's almost the cover, and then the As it cooks, it will absorb some of that, that, that flavor of oil. Uh, if anyone's interested in tasting, this is what was left over, so this is about a half of the olive oil that was poached in by the strain of the olive oil here. Uh, some of it, I use for dressing. Use red wine vinegar. Then you put your favorite stuff in there. Um, I put some calamari olive, some pimento olive, some boiled potatoes. Okay, so you can't boil boiled potatoes. Um, so I take onion, some raw celery, some parsley, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Just a quick little dressing, right? Really quick, simple, done. Okay. It'll be good for seven to ten days, right? I'm ready. I got several lunches and meals. Okay. Um, that's one. There's some bread here if you want to serve the bread or just as is. Super helpful. Can you do that with a canned tuna or it has to be raw? Well, the canned tuna's already cooked, right? Because they, they've already, they've already poached, they've just they're steamed it in the can. Um, they've already done it, right? So this is, I mean, it's, it's fresh, great. Or if you have frozen loin, that's okay too. Got a frozen loin, cut it up, use that. Right, that's okay too. Um, so hopefully you make it today it's good for all life. So please ask questions. I tend to ramble, uh, so stop me and ask any questions. Uh, now, if you notice I'm putting fingers on both sides. That's just to support the tuna. 
Okay. I'm putting it there so it supports so it doesn't tear tear the meat up, right? It's also a good good way to measure. As far as finger tip. Whatever predicates you're looking for. Uh, you notice also what you're what, when I'm slicing meats or fish or whatnot, uh, try not to saw the meat. Because then you leave saw marks in the, in the product. Is there a specific kind of knife you prefer? Uh, it's called a slicing knife, right? So a slicing knife. This one has little air pockets, right? These little scallops. So it helps so it doesn't stick. It's also this is I prefer this knife as well as when I'm when filleting fish or skinny skinny fish. So the air pockets go between the skin and the meat, and it makes it glide right through. Uh, you don't want to use serrated. Serrated is going to mm -hmm. chop it up. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I try to do is I try to cut forward, pull back. You have a long you have a long blade, so take take advantage of that blade. Forward, pull back. So it's just two cuts. That's really what you're doing. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Like and you can slice as thin as you want, or as thick. The less well done it is, the cleaner it's going to be, the less bright it's going to have. Mm -hmm. okay. So I took that, just, just fanned it out. So again, something simple quick. That, that yeah. literally took about 10 minutes to make. Right. Once I had a spice mixture made, once the tuna was out, obviously butchered, 10 minutes, let it rest a little.